On this episode of Extreme Huntress, we'll take a trip through South Texas Hill Country. So I got you a present. Ah! <laughs> where our judges will get a first glimpse of our huntresses in the field. But this year will be a little different and a little tougher for our huntresses. Huntress. Extreme Huntress is brought to you by Burris Optics, Find What Matters, Coppersmith Global Logistics, Serving Hunters Worldwide, and Sam Hunter Training by FTW. Additional support provided by these fine sponsors. Unlike previous Extreme Huntress competitions, where the entire contest took place in a single location, this year we threw in a wrinkle. After two days of intense training and competition at the FTW, we hit the road for a second ranch to hunt. Our travels would take us to Junction, Texas, midway between the FTW and our next destination, the Triple R. To Connie Booth and Brian Booth for directing us here tonight. Connie is involved with the Chamber of Commerce here in Junction, Texas. Absolutely fabulous place. One of the finest places in Texas to visit. You need to come see us. Yeah. You have the large <laughs> Yes, it is. After enjoying South Texas hospitality at its finest and a delicious burger, it's time for Ulrika to get a taste of American hospitality from Jamie. So I got you a present. <laughs> so now you can Sweetie, know what. <laughs> the FTW Ranch has truly, as far as I'm concerned, one of the finest training facilities there is when it comes to hunting and firearms. The SAM training really made me feel more confident. I really like that this training. I'm gonna have that in my head for the rest of my life. It was above and beyond my wildest dreams. To learn more about Extreme Huntress hunting and shooting workshops and to vote for your favorite Extreme Huntress, go to yeah. ExtremeHuntress.com. Rattlesnakes are really bad here. Uh, stickers are really bad here as well. Uh, my recommendation, if you have pants, I would wear them for the first day, and if it's too hot, then wear shorts the next day. If you see hogs, help yourself. You can shoot all the hogs you would like. If you see coyotes, you can shoot coyotes. If you see bobcats, you can shoot bobcats. If you see mountain lions, you can shoot the mountain lion. Black buck tend to prefer being out in the open, okay. where axes like to be in the bush. Um, but we've got pretty where's the wind coming from now? Sometimes things swirl in Texas before you see them okay. most of the time. That's why maybe kind of move slow, but okay. just keep an eye out. Ladies, it is the first morning. Unbelievable temperature. It's probably in the 60s, which is unheard of for this time of the year. I hope it stays that way. Yeah. Uh, you kind of got an idea as to when we grow, how we drove in. Obviously, there's water here around this windmill. The axis deer may still be roaring right now, so we'll kind of listen for that. We be quiet. Yeah, right? once we get out, we're going to be really quiet. Yeah. So good, good. Get yeah. I'm super excited. Um, first of all, I want to spot some animals and look at them, get a really good look at them. Because uh, I think there's a lot of axes around, and I always see them for real. Um, I'm allowed to shoot a doe or a buck. Uh, I'm also allowed to go for the predators, and I really like to hunt predators. All righty, whichever way you want to go. I'm going to step behind. Yeah, yeah. I'm step behind. Olivia, what's that? Right off the bat, I could see that Tatiana does have the skill set to be a great huntress. Uh, she was looking for places to put her foot where it would be very quiet, 
She wasn't too slow, but she wasn't too fast. We did not know the area going into it. We were essentially blind, but we, we had an idea that it would open up a bit, uh, that there were a food source nearby and a water source, but we were essentially discovering this area for the first time. So she did show quite an interest in who's print was here and whose scat was this and whose skull was this. So she's keen on learning everything there is. It's not just about the pursuit of an animal. It's, a, it's about experiencing the whole uh, ecosystem of Texas. Uh, we have uh, one black bug, no, two black bugs we have really close. We had really close. There was game out. Starting with some black buck does. They are an animal that like to be in the open and that they are a herd animal. This doe came out, she came charging down the road towards us and all of a sudden stopped. I think she could sense something, but the male was right behind her. Our Burr's veracity scope gave me a lot of confidence. It tracked so beautifully, whether it was 700 yards back to 250 yards. The glass was amazingly clear. It worked very well. Absolutely awesome. Out hunting is for real, so you have to trust in your gear. And I really think I can trust in Burr's. To learn more about Extreme Huntress hunting and shooting workshops and to vote for your favorite Extreme Huntress, go to ExtremeHuntress.com. The male was right behind her wanting to put her back in his harem. And she saw the doe and regardless she's turned and she's, she's wanting to focus on the male. But she's moving a lot and of course that doe got out of there as fast as possible and the ram followed her. A little bit frustrating, but it's the first morning she's looking at a new place she's never seen before. She hunts a totally different environment where she comes from in Slovakia. And so it's not easy to figure out how to hunt something unless you've had some time on the ground. Coming into this Triple R Whitetail Ranch, we're not knowing hardly anything about what was here. We barely got a chance to look at the map. So when we went out this morning, we went to a point where we knew that there was a water hole, and water is generally a very premium item in this part of the world. I'm going into an area not knowing really anything about it. Yeah, I want to go around and have a look, but I don't want to spoil the chances to see something. The wind is shifting, so we don't really know where we're going to go. With Orica, this is totally different habitat from what she's hunting in, in Sweden and elsewhere in Europe. I mean, she's used to big trees and, and uh, are wide open areas like on some of the tundra type situations. Uh, big wide open fields, maybe where she's hunting a uh, little roe deer. And to come into this thing and this ranch with the habitat we have here with a great amount of brush, it's, it's a tough chore. So, do you want to go pick up the antler? Go ahead. You go first. You're the, you're the hunter. I don't know where it is. We went out this morning. Uh, I was supposed to be the hunter, but I felt I'm, I'm new in this country. This is complete different landscape what I'm used to. Uh, it's different uh, animals. I never seen an axis live in front of me before. We kind of spent some time looking around this morning along with doing some walking. But it was one of those mornings to where uh, it was relatively quiet and I did not see the number of animals I thought we probably should have. I didn't hear a whole lot of birds this morning so it tells me that there wasn't a whole lot of movement. Impressed with her that she didn't just go running across country. Uh, impressed with her that she did pay attention to the wind. Um, impressed with the uh, meadow and that they were helping each other on, on making a decision as to which way to go. And we don't know if there's opening. Yeah, but there's a lot. Yeah. This is one of those mornings that it was really kind of a, almost like an orientation type of thing to try to find out how we're gonna hunt this ranch in the future this afternoon. It was more like a safari to me. I didn't have the pressure I have to go hunting because uh, to me it's more the experience to be here. If I'm gonna go home in the end of the week and not have shot in any animals, I'm fine. Because this is so much more than hunting. This is, this is about, this is about life. This is about knowledge to get to know new things and I really like that. And I saw a lot of poop. <laughs> I saw a poop of hogs, <laughs> of raccoon, pretty much of everything. <laughs> One of the things that I liked 
seeing is that she wasn't going to sit around. She she was on a mission. She wanted us to cover as much ground, um, so she wasn't slow, and she wasn't too fast. So she she did a good job. She also discovered in this first morning that it's very loud in the rocks and the hills here. She wanted to get some elevation gain so she could have a perspective from above looking down. What she discovered is very thick. There's a lot of dry twigs to break with your feet and a lot of rocks. Okay, now it's going that way. So she was obsessed with the wind and obsessed with the tracks and obsessed with the with the fresh spore of the animals. I love to see that. Jamie was fantastic. This first morning she was helpful. She carried uh, Tatiana's sticks but um, at first she was apprehensive in coming to me she said I wish I could help her and that this wasn't a competition. I said no help her. She needs it. She's not from here. You've done this before. And she got in there and she gave her some really good tips. Yes, it's a competition, but this is about creating relationships and, and building that camaraderie in the field. Because women are the fastest growing segment of the hunting industry and we've got the most powerful voice. And if we can empower each other, it's gonna be a, f a wonderful thing for future generations to actually have the ability to hunt like we do. On the next Extreme Huntress, competitions at the FTW Ranch continue as the instructors put our huntresses through their paces to find out who knows what and who has the skill to do the job. Impact. And hunting on the Triple R continues. Go to ExtremeHuntress.com and vote for your favorite Huntress today. Check out the latest line of Extreme Huntress apparel and products. From mugs and sweatshirts to custom knives, find it at ExtremeHuntress.com.